Okay, so a lot of people have asked me, um, how do I get in so much protein? Um, so in this video, I'll just go over a few example meals I sometimes eat and how it's possible to get 240 grams of protein with around 3000 calories. Um, just keep in mind, um, this isn't exactly what I eat uh, day to day. I typically have more carbs and calories. I just thought I'd have a day where I try to get in a lot of protein just to show how it's possible. So with this first meal, I guess it's an example of a breakfast. It's just oats, pea protein powder, soy milk, half a banana and peanut butter. Um, you can just use any protein powder like soy, rice or hemp protein. I've noticed that you can't add in too much protein powder um, because it'll just taste uh, like dry and awful. Um, so I just recommend not adding in too much. Um, but you can experiment with the like with the amount you add in. So to track calories and macros, um, I would recommend um, you use chronometer. Uh, my fitness pal is also good, but um, with chronometer um, you can track micronutrients. Um, I'm not sure if you can do that with uh, my fitness pal. As you can see, there's uh, 54.8 uh, grams of protein um, in chronometer. It also gives you the amount of essential amino acids. Plant-based foods have varying amounts of amino acids, so it's a good idea to just know the amount of amino acids you're getting in and not just the protein intake. So this is the protein shake I made. The ingredients are listed. Again, I use pea protein powder, um, but you can use any plant-based protein powder you want. I added in flax seeds, uh, fruits, and sunflower seeds for micronutrients mainly. Um, I really don't eat that much fruit in my diet. Um, I just get enough um, to reach the recommended uh, values for micronutrients. Um, but of course, I'd recommend uh, you eat um, a lot of fruits and vegetables. I mainly added in uh, sunflower seeds for vitamin E um, because I've noticed uh, I've been quite low on that recently. Um, and I also added in flax seeds uh, for omega trees. Like I, I actually don't take a DHA supplement anymore uh, since it's like not 100% necessary. Um, like I, I more than likely convert uh, enough ALA into DHA. But if you feel like it's necessary to add in, um, there's supplements you can buy online. I also use soy milk, um, but it's okay to use almond milk, um, oat milk or any other plant-based milk. Um, I noticed a lot of people in my comments in the last diet video um, I made, they were saying that uh, soy will have a feminizing effect. I'll link a study on soy and how it doesn't have any um, feminizing effects. But if you still don't want to use soy milk, um, you can just replace soy uh, with another plant-based milk, uh, such as rice milk. And if you want to avoid soy products, you can. Um, there's no problem. Um, the main reason I use soy milk is just because it's very cheap where I live and it's higher in protein compared to other plant-based milks. So here's an example of a stir-fry I made. Um, it includes kidney beans, onions, uh, celery, pepper, tofu, spinach, and lentil pasta. Um, I also included soy sauce. Um, salt, pepper, herbs and spices. If you live in Ireland or the UK you can buy uh, the lentil um, pasta in Tesco um, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it in other supermarkets in uh, other countries. Um, it's pretty good since it contains uh, 21 grams of protein um, per serving. Another high protein option is uh, black bean spaghetti. This has 44 grams of protein per 100 grams. Depending on the tofu you get, it may be fortified with calcium. Um, I've been to America and Canada and the tofu was definitely cheaper over there than it is here. Um, it's definitely a uh, food I recommend. Uh, you just have to learn how to cook it uh, or else it'll just have no taste. It's like a, a sponge that soaks up flavors. So you have to add in um, like the proper like sauces and um, spices. Uh, when you do cook with it. A lot of people have asked me how do I handle a diet high in beans and fiber since people typically have problems when they add in a lot of beans or lentils to their diet. Like they get problems with bloating and gas. Um, I think a lot of people are just unaware of how to cook um, beans and lentils. Before you cook uh, canned beans you should definitely rinse them with water. And if you use uh, dried beans, you should soak them overnight and then rinse them before cooking or else uh, rinse them multiple times uh, while cooking them. Um, like a lot of people undercook their beans, um, so you should make sure to cook them well. Another tip I would have uh, would be to just slowly add in more like legumes into your diet. 
um, just to give yourself time to adjust, uh, you'll eventually adjust to the higher intake. Also, you could just choose uh, foods high in protein that don't uh, produce a lot of gas. Uh, like instead of eating kidney beans and chickpeas, you could just have lentils and split peas. Or you could just have uh, tofu or mock meats. Um, they, they're typically um, lower in fiber. So for the next meal, um, it's just a snack really. It's simply just bran flakes and soy milk. Um, a lot of cereals are fortified with vitamins and minerals, especially B, B vitamins. Um, so adding in a fortified cereal is a nice uh, addition to your diet. So this is a sweet and sour uh, stir fry I made. It contains a mock meat, which I found in Tesco. So if you're living in Ireland or the UK, um, I definitely recommend you try it because it tastes pretty good. And it contains uh, 30 grams of protein per 100 grams. So as for the other stuff I added in, um, I added in mushrooms, onions, carrots, and pineapple. I just used a sweet and sour sauce that I found in Tesco. Um, and I also had brown rice with this. Um, so this meal uh, ends up almost being um, 60 grams of protein. So combining all the meals of the day, um, you can see I got 238 uh, grams of protein. Uh, with uh, 3,098 calories and 375 grams of carbs and 88 grams of fat. Again, this is not a typical day of eating for me. Uh, the purpose of this video is just to show you how I'd get in a lot of protein. The amount of protein you need in a day, if you're an athlete, varies between sources. Um, but I'd recommend you get above 1.2 grams of protein per kg of body weight minimum. Um, ideally, um, a bit higher and it should be 10% higher if the protein is coming from plant sources. Looking at the vitamins, uh, I reached the RDA on all of them. Um, the soy milk I have is fortified um, with vitamin D, um, but chronometer just didn't add that in. Uh, for the minerals, uh, the calcium intake is quite high, um, but the tofu I eat is not fortified with calcium, so it shouldn't be that high really. There probably isn't uh, much danger of a high intake of calcium, but um, I wouldn't recommend going over um, 1,400 milligrams. So that's it for the video. Um, I might make another Q&A video um, in the future um, because I've been uploading a lot of training videos recently and that gets quite boring. <laughs> And if you want to see more videos, uh, check out my Patreon. Um, I post videos on there more often. Um, I also do exclusive live streams on there. And I also do uh, Discord voice chats. Um, you should also join the Discord server uh, for quality shitposting.